Of all the things you would have thought wouldn't ever be politicized, science and medicine, you thought would be you know, out of bounds, like these are areas that you shouldn't touch. Um, how you raise your kids as well, although as we know, there are certain groups that like to touch kids more than others, but that's another story for another time. Even when it comes down to the whole mask wearing thing, the flip flopping, backtracking, and double downing is bizarre and um, it's beyond confusing and it, it's just turned into a farce. It's not even something you can really calculate in your mind. Like, um, well, you know, I've got data from over here and that says this, and data from over here that says that, so I can make some sort of. Um, you know, well-informed judgment. It, it's it's farcical, the whole thing. There's been so much flip-flopping and double-downing and backtracking and changing of minds that the general consensus of opinion of people um, is that of a bipolar bad girlfriend, you know, who's about 17. All right, maybe, you know, a 15-year-old bipolar girlfriend. You know, you're, like, you're in a young relationship, you're like, hey, babe... Are you sure you're right? She's like, yeah, I love you. Are you sure you're a bit moody this morning? She's like, no, no, it's fine, babes. It's fine, babes. I'm like, okay. And then you hang up the phone, and then the, the next moment, you know, it's, it's 5 a.m., and there's smoke bellowing up your stairs, and you're like, going, oh, shit, the, the bitch has set fire to my door, you know? But not just the door. Um, she, she's probably, you know, chopped the head off your dog and then set fire to the dog. Is burning out your door trying to set the house on fire. You know, it's, it's that kind of mentality. People have just gone a bit like that. You know, they're not quite at that level yet, but you can read the signs where you're like, and I, I don't know, I don't know where I stand with you, and I, I feel very uneasy. I feel very uneasy, babes. You, you're ruining everything. If you go back, way back, and obviously, for the record, I spent the entirety of this pandemic in. In Vietnam, so my situation is a bit different. Well, I remember first looking at the mask situation, and you just immediately think, well, masks in it. I mean, it does something, doesn't it? And everyone's wearing masks, and it was mandatory mask wearing here from the off. And then obviously, you get all the um, wise old owls of the West, people in the UK, especially, you know, just going, no, everyone was suddenly an expert. You know, everyone becomes an expert very quickly these days. Um, I don't know why people get qualifications anymore. There's, there's no real point because you can literally just become an expert from watching a couple of videos or reading a headline these days. Um, you know, same thing with 9-11, everyone became a structural engineer. I always bring back that analogy, but it is the best one. It's saying, well, steel doesn't burn at that, that degree of heat. I said, it says who, your science degree? What are you, a fucking welder now? When did you get, when did you, when did you, what? When did this happen? I don't know, I want zeitgeist, addendum. But anyway, and people just go, no, it doesn't, it doesn't do anything. It might help, you know, if, you know, it, it was so convoluted. It was like, oh, if you have it, you should wear it, but if you don't have it, you shouldn't wear it. It was, it was like, yeah, but isn't it like a lot of people don't know they have it anyway? So what even is that theory? And how is it one, you know, how is it a two-way traffic thing or a one-way traffic thing? Well, it, it just, like, so, uh, if you have it, it stops it from going out. But if you don't have it, it doesn't stop it from coming in. Isn't it the same width of holes? I mean, just just basic understanding of design, isn't it? Like, what, what goes out comes in, sort of the same. Is it the same? Oh, I don't know. But you don't know you even have it anyway. So what fucking difference does it make? And it was like, oh, there's no point. And then they were saying, oh, well, you know, you, you can wear them. Um, but we advise, you know, the World Health Organization, we're basically advising people not to wear them for two reasons. One, they didn't want people hoarded PPE equipment. Same way they were hoarding toilet rolls. And the same way that, you know, apparently uh, politicians are hoarding children. I was going to do jokes. And so they didn't want that. And also they said, basically, oh, people can't be trusted to use them properly. They don't know how to use them properly. And that is a thing. I mean, look, you'll see people walking around. It'll be like below their nose. Like, um, you know, it, it makes you touch your face more. And the whole spreading the disease, you know, 
of the virus. So it was like, oh, it's it can go from, you know, contact, touch the surface, touch your mouth, you're infected, and you you touch your face more because you've got a mask on. People don't know how to take them off and put them on again properly. Some, and then I remember early on, you know, the Daily Mail would do their spread going, here's how effective all these different masks can be. When people weren't even told to wear masks, when people have poo-pooed the idea of masks, they just needed content, obviously. So there is that factor, and the fact is, you have to dispose of the mask and wash them every, or wash them every day. You either get disposables, or you wash them every day, or you just buy a new fancy mask every fucking day. So good luck to you if you got one of those stupid Gucci masks or a Louis Vuitton one. You're gonna have to either wash that every day or buy one every day. So what are you even doing? But this is what we were told: oh, they're not, they're not effective. They don't even work. Yeah, people in Asia were wearing them more. But then they said, oh, you know, that's an Asian cultural thing and uh, makes people feel safe. Now, to be honest, it, it is kind of a security blanket thing. It's more of a placebo effect, as far as I'm concerned. You wear it and you think, well, everyone's wearing it, everyone's doing something. It's like, oh, everyone's doing something. Do they work? Who fucking knows? Do you know what? No one knows. I swear no one knows. Because it just flip-flops all over the place. They don't work. Well, they do work in these circumstances. These ones don't work. Well, these kind of work, but that actually doesn't work. I don't know, does it work? And now it's like, oh, what, what is your politics? All right, well, why are you wearing that mask? You're some sort of lunatic. It's ridiculous. I've seen people who have been preaching on like they know everything about science game. You don't need to wear a mask. It's fucking ridiculous. And then when they're told usually told by the government they can't stand, who they think are just complete liars. But the same government will tell them, no, you've got to wear a mask. And then they start having a go at everyone else, going, put your fucking mask on, you prick. That's people. Great. That's why I say it. Great. Well, thanks for that. Cannot make any informed decision of your own. Do they even work? I don't know if they do. I don't know how effective they are. I really don't. Do I wear them out here? Well, only when we were told to. Now, no one, now it's like, no one gives a fuck. Because it's like, well, what does it even do? And all the people that were wearing masks, they got affected. You know, you've got nations of white people who do wear a mask quite a lot. They're getting affected. And then it's like, wear the mask sat at a table, but not when you walk into the table. Or, it, it's just, it, come on, it's ridiculous now. It's like, what is this? Where science doesn't matter. Because it's just, it's got politicised. They politicise uh, medical treatments. Despite the fact, you know, there's been studies into using UV light on the lungs. And now it's said, oh yeah, that actually works. And they're like, no, well who said it? Who said it works? This, this doctor, oh yeah, who did he vote for? Oh, Jesus Christ. There is a huge problem going on. And, I mean, to, to begin with, when it comes to science and the belief in science, it's been shot in the ass because, I mean, even if you just look at climate change, it's like literally that is a political thing. Kind of more American, I suppose, because the conservative part in the UK compared to the conservatives that in America are very different because the conservatives in the UK have always been very environmentalist. They've always pushed environmental policies since I was a child. Margaret Thatcher banned CFC fridges, you know, CFC gases from fridges, from aerosols. They introduced catalytic converters. All these things happen. These are all conservative things that happen. The conservative government. You know, the coal miners didn't want the fucking coal mines closed, despite the fact there was polluting the air. And they were like, no, nah, you're closing your fucking coal mines. What is this, 1862? Do you know what I mean? So, but again, I, I suppose it is where it has become a politicized thing. Or even climate change. You have climate change scientists saying, well, we don't think it's what these bunch of climate change scientists are saying. And no one's none the wiser. And the main reason why the mainstream opinion is that man-made climate change is contributing more to this than what other climate change scientists are saying. Is pretty much because it is a very left-leaning domination of mainstream media. It has been for a very long time. It just is. So obviously that's the one they're going to go with. If everyone in Hollywood voted differently, or had to vote differently, 
if it went back to the old days when there was way more Republicans in charge in Hollywood, it would probably be a very different speech that Leonardo DiCaprio gave at the Oscars. He'd say, um, hey, you got a private jet? Just fly it around in circles for hours on end because it's fucking great for the environment. You know, it, 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 that's what would happen, man. Come on. That's what would happen. Let's not get ridiculous about this. So this is where we're at. We, we don't even know where to turn to. Science is always changing, obviously, but then, you know, you'll get government regulations, health body regulations, the media. One week you can do this. The next week, no, that gives you cancer. You know, it's like, oh. You know, do you know what I'm saying? It's like, oh, all fats are bad for you. Oh, actually, some fats are good for you. Oh, consume an all-fat diet. No, don't have any fat. Have a full vegan diet. No, that's bad for you. Have a full meat diet. No, that's good. Oh, what, how many hours should you exercise a week? Or 1.5? No, the new study says it's 2.62. And then the next week's going, no, just two minutes a month is fine. And you're just like, well, eat salmon, don't eat salmon. It kills you. No, it doesn't kill you. It actually makes you live longer. Really? Drink a bottle of wine a day and that's really good for you. Don't drink too much a day, that's really bad for you. Like, what the fuck? So no one has a clue what's going on anyway. And, and no one believes in science anymore. Because everyone's just like, like... Who do you work for? Who paid you? Like, As soon as anyone questions anything that's mainstream for, they just go, well... Who, who's paying you off? Huh? Huh? Is it the oil industry? Is it George Soros? Who's paying you? <laughs> If Kamala Harris came out as a lost profit fan, there'd probably be some douchebags in America who want to vote Democrat would just start buying lost profit albums. That's how retarded everything is. Tribalism obviously is is inherent amongst all of us, um, but when it when politics, when the political tribalism infects everything. I, it, it's just a problem for me. I cannot stand it. I cannot stand. I fucking cannot stand it. I cannot stand. I'll, I'll just have this little rant first before I go into some more deeper shit. I fucking hate people who go, well, go out and vote. You've got to go out and vote. I've seen people like that. People I used to look up to. Make sure you go out and vote. Whoever you vote for, you just got to vote. It's like, but they've spent the whole time just completely berating the side they don't want to vote for. And they're telling you, go and vote for everyone, even though I've just told you day in, day out on why you shouldn't vote for this law. Just go out and vote. doesn't matter who you vote for. Just do make your voice heard, even if you are a racist scumbag. Fuck them people. And, and do the other people are saying, go fuck yourselves. The people are saying, huh, think politics doesn't affect your life. <laughs> politics affects everything. <laughs> It shouldn't affect anything. It should fuck off. It should fuck off out of most things. It shouldn't affect as much stuff as it does. It needs to go. It's got to go. It's as simple as that. I don't want politics affecting whether I eat salmon. I don't want politics affecting whether I should take a vaccine or whether I should wear a mask or whether I should wash my hands for 20 or 30 seconds. It shouldn't affect any of that. It can fuck off. It shouldn't affect where I can get married. It shouldn't affect who I love. It shouldn't affect any of that shit. It needs to go. I'm, there's a lot of us like, I don't care. See, I'm not Joe Jane Average, yeah. I'm a fucking alien. Let's get this straight. I'm from a different planet. I don't know how I got here, how I got inside my mother. There must be some sort of probe. Or maybe she's an alien too and she's kept it very sly. I have no idea. I'm here, like, I look at the Heaven's Gate cult and, you know, they took the Kool-Aid... They've been fucking flown off to their planet. They, they're free. I was like, why don't you wait for me, man? I want to get on the spaceship too. I don't know how I'm here. I have no idea how I arrived here. I, but I'm just walking around just Bill Wilder going, hmm, this is crazy. Okay. But I also share the same attitude as Joe and Jane Average. All right. Joe and Jane Average like Facebook and, you know, they watch fucking Dancing with the Stars or Strictly Come Dancing or whatever the fuck it is. They watch Britain Got Talent, you know, and then be really bent out of shape about it. Going, oh, my God, why did they win? That's Joe and Jane Average, OK? That's most people, OK? I don't like most things that Joe and Jane Average share. 
that I like. But I do share a, a lot of common things with Joe and Jay Average. And do you know what that is? It's just, just fuck off with the nonsense, please. Like, oh, I just want to get on with my life. Is that all right with you? I don't give a fuck about, you know, I don't want you to politicize my Sambuca. You know, I don't drink Sambuca. I'm not like Joe and Jay Average. Okay, I drink the Gronies and Cognac. But this is what I'm saying. Like, I don't want, I don't want to... I don't want to wear a t-shirt and they just be like, going, oh, are you sure about that political aff- affiliation? Like, what the fuck are you talking about? Go away. Piss off. I don't want none of that. And Joe and Jen Average don't want it neither. They're just like, can we just get on? Look, we want to leave the EU. That's it, all right? Whatever, all right? See, so we're going to... Oh, do you not understand all the great things we're going to do, the politicians say, you know? Like what? Am I going to have my job? I'm Joe and Jane Average. I don't care. You know? You've got to vote for them. They're going to smash the patriarchy. Joe and Jane Average guys. What is that? What is it? What are you talking about? Is the bus going to arrive on time from now on? Are the trains going to be overcrowded? No, but they're going to, we're going to diversify. All the staff on the trains. What's that got to do with the train arriving on time so I can get to fucking work, you dickhead? Joe and Jane Average don't care. I don't care. And I'm fucking Billy Alien, all right? I don't care about that shit. It's got to go. I've had enough of it. I think most people have had enough of it. Can it just fuck off already? It's ridiculous. It's just got to infect everything. Tribalism will always be there. It's the thing. I don't get it at all. Like I said, I'm a fucking alien. I don't understand peer pressure. I don't understand following the crowds. I am like Kanye West. If people go left, I'll go right. I'm just like, I'm like fuck, it looks crap over there. I do not like large groups of people. I do not like mobs. I do not like gangs. I do not like fan clubs. I do not like cults. I don't like any of this shit. I ride solo. That's fine. Right. I don't even like hanging out with my family because it's me really feel like I'm in a collective. I'm just like, oh, fuck, this makes me feel icky, thank you. In fact, a lot of my family are very similar to that. When we used to go to family occasions, we just used to stay in the corner and not mix with the rest of them. It's like, there's too many people here, man. What have we got in common apart from eyebrows and fucking noses? I just don't like it. It makes people retarded. People on their own are cool. Put them all together, they're douchebags. It's, it's a simple fact. It is a fact. It's got to go. <laughs> it's got to go. And the problem is with this new, this new sort of tribalism that we've got. And there are many factors why we have got to the stage where we're at. The media are fiercely responsible for this. And I'll get into that. But right now, people don't even see this. Okay, people don't even see the same things. They don't even speak the same language. So I mean, they literally don't even like words mean completely different things. They do not see the same things. One person could look at the same fucking. It will be a block. It will be a pink block on the floor. Some some person will see that as a symbol of racism and white supremacy. Someone else would just go, that's a pink block. This is where we're at. This is like, we become like Hutus and Tutsis. This is it. And what do they do? Well, killed each other. Hundreds of thousands of them, dead. Because they just couldn't get along. You know, Gulliver's Travels, you know, they like the main fucking idea of that. There's these two islands, they're at war with each other. Islands of tiny people. And they're at war with each other. Why did the war start? Because of how they break and how they eat an egg in the morning. Or we cut the top off and we crack the egg or whatever it was. It was retarded. You were like, oh, this is stupid. It was like, well, that's how it is. It's literally like that. Do you wear a mask? Do you wear a mask? Uh, it, it, it's, 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 are you wearing a mask? Well, this, this, this allows me to be shitty to you or not. I mean, well, what a fucking, what a stupid way to be. But that's what you like. And a lot of us... The aliens and Joe and Jane Average. We've had enough of you ruining it for us. We want you all to fuck off. Can you just fuck off, please? This is the message, essentially. This is the message, just fuck off. 
Because when you, I mean, when you got the situation, like, look at the Proud Boys situation, of the Proud Boys, and a lot of people commented, like, Mo, Joe and Jane Average would go, the Proud Boys, what is that? Is that a gay strip act? You know, is that the weirdo clique that Desmond is Amazing hangs out with? Who are these people? What are they, some fruity pirates? You know? They don't know who the fuck these people are. They're saying, what about our jobs and shit? Are we going to go bankrupt? I haven't worked for months. What are you talking about? Why are you talking about this? Can you condemn white supremacy? What? What is that? Where is it? I don't see it. Like, where is it? It's such a... I mean, this is the most niche thing. The amount of white supremacists, I mean, actual white supremacists, I've met a couple. They're very hard to find. There's not a lot of them. This really is a dying thing. It's, it's a dying breed. It's like mods. How many mods do you fucking know? Have you met any mods recently? You just walk out and go, huh, you're a mod. There's, there's no fucking mods. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like, or members of the elephant, the elephant gang. Do you know the elephant gang? Uh, they're a fucking, they're a gang from Elephant and Castle. Like over a hundred years ago, they spoke their own version of Cockney rhyming slang that was really odd. And apparently some of them used to eat rats. I don't know how true that bit is, but it's cool. Do you not know meet any members of the fucking elephant gang? Like, oh, he's an elephant gang member, do you know? Or a pearly queen. Go to the East End. Have you seen a pearly queen prancing around recently? There's, there's, these people don't exist anymore. There's fuck all of them. Oh, this is something we've got to call out. Well, this is a major problem. This is the problem, because when you redefine and you just label, you just blanket everything as a white supremacist, um, then you've got one group who are going, everyone's a fucking white supremacist. Everyone. Even the leader of the Proud Boys, who's a very dark-skinned man. Sorry, let me just try not to butcher his name. What is his name? i got it here. Enrique Tarrio. Well, that's the name of a white supremacist. Uh, I heard it. Enrique Tarrio. Enrique Tarrio. They'll look at him and go, he's a white supremacist. Or Candace Owens. I don't know if you know Candace Owens. But she's black. And quite black, too. And she's a white supremacist, too. Whereas people on the right side of the things were just going, well, that's like the Ku Klux Klan and Aryan Brotherhood and Combat 18 and nutters like that. And Joe and Jane Average will just, well, they'll just know what it is, what, you know, it's just what you told them it is. So it depends on who told them. Well, I don't know, they were a white supremacist. Yeah, they are. And so one of the guys goes, no, they're not white supremacists. And Joe and Jane Average are going, well, what are they then? I'm confused. I'm Joe and Jane Average. I'm just getting the bus to work. Is it going to affect my pension? Will this affect my pension? No. Well, why do we give a shit? It's ridiculous. You're speaking a different fucking language. When racism means one thing, which is like the general meaning of racism, it's fucking racism. I mean, do you need to explain it? It's quite, it's quite blatant. If you punch someone in the face, why did you do that? He's black. You're a racist. It's pretty easy. It's very easy definable, you know. It gets a bit more nuanced when it comes to jokes and shit. And that's a conversation for another day. All right, but in general, why didn't you employ him? He's Pakistani. Well, you're a racist. You know, and there can be cultural things and xenophobia. But this is, like I said, let's not go too deep into it. This is a whole, that's a whole different conversation. But that, it's very easy to findable. But then when it comes to them, it's like, oh, it's, it's race plus power plus six to the power of four. Like, what are you talking about? Well, we can't be racist because we don't have the power. It's like, oh, what the fuck? What does that even mean? So like I so if I go and live in Dubai by that standard I go and live in Dubai and I walk around and go yo what up sand and bomb you know what I mean start just racially cussing out all the Arabs and I just what do I do fuck all I'm in Dubai, you know I, what am I doing in Dubai I'm not balling up I ain't got no power in Dubai well I'm not a racist anymore because I don't have the power it's only racist if they say oi honky face we're gonna beat you for being a honky. I mean, what is it? But I can beat up anyone indiscriminately because I don't have any power. I mean, what sort of ridiculous? I mean, in Vietnam, if I just go around beating up Vietnamese just because I don't like Viet I just don't like Asian people. 
But I'm not a racist because I don't have any power. I mean, how does that, that even fucking work? You ridiculous people. This is stupid. And someone's going to get labelled a racist and go, why? How? How did this happen? Okay. There'd be some Joe and Jane Average. They're Jews. And they go, you're Nazis. Because they said something. And they look at, what? Do you know what we are? You lunatic. No, you are! They're speaking different languages. And it gets to a point now where people really don't want to listen. And I've had incidents with people that literally... Someone put up a post on, on Twitter and, and, it, and I was just like, is it something about the, the Rothschilds getting booted out of Russia? It's a very old story from four, three or four years ago that's been debunked quite easily because they said, you know, the Rothschilds are banned from uh, Russia even though the financial firm that the Rothschilds own is still in Moscow. You can call it now if you want. Just give them a call. It's still there. And this guy's going... Uh, so someone puts it a post going, yeah, they got booted out of Russia. And saying, yeah, good, yeah. And I was like, debunked it in seconds. I just found, no, that's not true. And they said, and I wrote on it, said, this has been debunked already. And they're like, oh, yeah, show me your source. And it was a fact-checking source. And they're like, ha, 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 yeah, right. Everyone knows that fact-checking checking sources only came about when the truth was exposed. I'm like, great. Well, with that attitude, you're never going to win, are you? And I said, look. I said, mate, you can believe what you want, but you could literally Google the address of the Rothschild fucking financial firm in Moscow and call them and ask them, Hello? Yes, I'm a nutter of the internet. I was just wondering, are you still in Moscow and are you harvesting the souls of Aryans? You know, you could do that if you want. Nutter. Go, go call them. And then they were like, no. And then they wrote something back and then they blocked me. It's the first time I've ever been blocked. And I've said some horrendous shit in my time. I, mean, I you know, I've got a comedy channel and, and shit that's, that's sole purpose is either to make you laugh or offend you. And either way, I'm happy. And I've never been blocked by anybody. Never. And, and as soon as I just go, no, this is nonsense, in a, a perfectly respectable way, I get fucking blocked. How are you going to combat that? when that is the approach for people is just, I don't like what you're saying, so therefore I'm just not gonna listen to it and shut it down. It's gonna get to a stage, and I'll tell you this, when I went to, I went to West Africa when I was a kid, I went to Ivory Coast, my godfather got married out there. And at that time, it was in the 90s, Ivory Coast was like one of the most, um, oh, what's, the, what's the word? Uh, balanced, no, that's not the word. Stable, it was one of the most stable nations in the whole of Africa at that time. Um, you know, it was like Ivory Coast and Kenya and a couple of others, but like it was very stable. You know, it, it was fine. You know, it was a fully functioning democracy, it was fine. Roll on 10 years or so. Ivory Coast is now the most dangerous, one of, all, if not the most dangerous place to go in Africa. And this has happened in a very short period of time. And it's got to a stage because you've got. It's either the Muslim North and the Christian South, or it's the other way around. But basically, it's split in two by religion. Same thing has happened to Sudan, which got North and South Sudan, in religious terms. They cannot get along so much that it just split in half, and you don't go to the either side of it. You don't go there. I guess so, like the Cyprus situation, when you've got the Turkish North and the Greek South, or I don't know how hardcore that shit is. It's going to get to that point where you're just going to have to split the country in half. Because they just can't get along. They just will not agree on anything. And then what's going to become? Are we going to get to a situation like that? Where it's like, no. Nope. Where it's like literally when political tribalism becomes like religious tribalism. I thought politics was supposed to be better than that. Democracy is supposed to be better than that, isn't it? It's supposed to be better than these archaic beliefs from thousands of years ago that were written by some nutcase on a mountain. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm just breaking it down for you. Like, why, why are the religious books the only one that they take seriously, the ones that are written at a specific time from a specific place? And any of the other ideas looked upon as lunacy, like Scientology. Well, that's crazy. I believe the guy that, you know, hid in the cave and had a spider web run over it. Or the guy that came back from the dead three days later. That's, that's what I believe in, not this alien business. <laughs> Do you know, anyway... Because that, that's the way it is. If people can't communicate, if people don't even say the same, if people say the same words, look at the same thing, and it's just totally different. 
just, just living in parallel universes. You're saying these words and someone's like, uh, but that means something else. How do you pass law? How do you define the law? How do you define uh, civility? How do you be respectful? How do you have a conversation? How do you do anything? How do you, t how do you get with someone? How do you text someone and send a certain word that they just means something completely different to them, even though it's the same language? They're like, <coughs> blocked and reported to the police. I'm like, what, what, what the fuck did I do? It's got that stage. There is the, the gap is just so wide. Why is it so wide? Well, the media have kind of very much responsible. This culture war that they talk about, this culture war was launched. It was bubbling up for a very long time. Liberalism was getting weird. And liberalism has, has dominated most aspects of media. Um, you know, a lot of conservative media was pushed out to the fringes. Uh, obviously in the UK you've got you know, conservative and left-wing newspapers. But for the most part, the majority of media, when it comes... And we're talking about the whole... Uh, the whole scope from television to film you know, to, the, to the arts to music to broadcasting it's, it's extremely liberal it's dominated by liberal people has been for a very long time now the culture war has been bubbling up for years liberalism started going weird and news under the media um, people declared war on it in fact Andrew Breitbart declared war on it openly and you can kind of see the way right wing and populism has grown from kind of his his strategy he said now he's a very interesting guy and I've looked into more of him and he's kind of one of them people that we probably need around right now because he calls out bullshit there's some people who are missing on planet earth that we really need right now like Christopher Hitchens Patrice O'Neill George Carlin I think Andrew Breitbart is one of them too but these people need to be here right now we need these aliens back. But anyway, you know, he looked at the, at the media landscape and, and Hollywood and said, this is all just bullshit. It's so partisan, and yet they won't admit it. So he, declare, he declared war on it. He openly declared war on it. He helped set up the Huffington Post because he wanted to expose hard-left beliefs because they were very much underground. He wanted it all exposed. What did he do? Well, it kind of started to become mainstream. <sighs> And this, this culture war that came was like, we're just going to go after the mainstream media and take it away from them. Obviously, this is through online media. So that's one part of it. But, but the worst part of it, over the last 10 years or so, news has changed a lot because outrage and clickbait, outrage bait, is the number one seller. This is why you had situ you know, when Trayvon Martin incident happened way back in 2012, they realized how many clicks this sort of shit was generating, and then everything became about race baiting for a hell of a long time, mainly in America, but then it obviously it trickled over to the UK. And you could see it happen. And it became a lot of misinformation, because it was picking and choosing things to show you and to tell you, and just leaving out details, important details too, especially when it comes to Michael Brown, is another example. And in the end, George Floyd and Breonna Taylor, these two current ones here, there'll be lots of things that are just... You'll be able to see it, you can read about it, but it won't be shoved down your throat. The other shit shoved down your throat, and that's how they've been operating. Why? Because everyone went micro-niche. Instead of being broad and saying, you know, we want to speak to these people and speak to these people and speak to these people, it's like, no, we're just going to go for these people and just regurgitate talking points and become an echo chamber. It's, it's, it's the Fox News model. And, you know, I've been listening to... Um, his name Matt Talibi. Matt Taibbi? Is that his name? This is a journalist. He's got a new book coming out, which is very interesting. But he says, you know, it's it's the Fox News model is what he was talking about. And it is. It's just, we're just going to go for these people. These are right-wing people. And they hate, li they hate libtards. And all the content, we're just going to, we're just going to cater it to them. And then this has become the mode because, you know, CNN especially and MSNBC and these organizations... We just see how much traffic they were getting because they were dying. They were being kicked in the ass by fucking new media, and they hated it. And they tried to destroy it, but they knew they couldn't destroy it. Then they tried to, and they slowly tried to take it over, which they are doing quite successfully. Like YouTube is a great example. 
But the fact is they knew what was generating clicks. They knew what people were tuning in for. And so they just sell them the narrative that the people they were courting wanted to hear. Now CNN is strictly for the left. Even though they've always been, as Andrew Breitbart was like, you know, these organizations are very left-leaning anyway, but they mask a bit of objectivity. But now the mask has completely slipped away because they're like, well, it doesn't matter anymore. We don't need, we just, and they've gone super niche. These are the only people we're going to attract. And now it's like, either you like Trump or you don't like Trump. It's Marmite, and that's it. And that's what the news media has become. And this is further polarized people. This is further drag people apart. Throw into that the YouTube algorithms and the algorithms of Twitter and the algorithms of Facebook. Targeting. And here you are, you're just stuck in a perpetual, a perpetual fucking rabbit hole of the same idea over and over again. And you can't escape. Now, if you fuck with these algorithms, because I often spend time researching lots of different things, the, and sometimes the algorithm doesn't even know what to do anymore. It's like, and I, I fuck with the Facebook algorithm so much once, it started promoting me, do you want to set up an Islamic business in Tel Aviv or something? I'm like, how have I been targeted for this ad? Because it, I confuse the algorithm because I'm looking at so much different shit. It's like, why, what are you doing? Like, why am I going to set up an Islamic business in fucking God knows where? Like, what, 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 how did you come to that conclusion? I was your target market. You can't fuck with it. You can fuck with it, but for the most part, it just generates, it wants you to keep you on the site and it generates. They've got to really start acting responsibly and cut the algorithm away. They really need to. Because they, you know, a lot of people say, oh, we're shadow banned and they're not showing our videos. <sighs> yeah, they, we all know Silicon Valley leans one way, for sure. But as long as you're towing whatever line they think you are, they don't really give that much of a shit. That's how they present themselves, like most corporations present themselves. We support this cause. They don't support jack shit. Like I said, when the Zoomers start to become the target demographic exclusively and the millennials just become old, faded away failures, because they're not quite faded away, but they are failures. Once that happens, like I said, Zoomers are into fucking furry sh You know, they, they like wanking over anime and dressing up as badgers. It's going to get fucking weird. And then look at what corporations are going to do. YouTube's going to go mental. Trust me, it will happen. They don't give a fuck. They just, they just, they're just always trying to target one demographic and go, Ooh, let me stick my finger in the wind. What do they like? Ugh. Bullshit. Great. Let's give them more of that. They don't care. They will feed you. If you go down a rabbit hole and it's going, I... You know, I, I, yeah, let's pick something out of the air. I hate Latvians. They're going to constantly just give you content that berates Latvians. I hate Latvians. They're great, you hate Latvians. Here's some more, here's some more, here's some more, here's some more. Hate, 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 hate. The algorithm says you love hate. We're going to give you hate, 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 hate. This is it. You can look through the whole CNN feed now. And it's, it all has to be about Trump because he generated so much fucking revenue. Donald Trump and Jake Paul, all right, both of around the same period of time, right? Think how many people made money off fucking watching, Je off commenting on Jake Paul, you know, doing commentary videos on Jake Paul, reaction videos to Jake Paul. Fuck Jake Paul. Jake Paul, Jake Paul, Jake Paul, Jake Paul. And Jake Paul was just getting richer and richer and richer and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. The rebel of YouTube. At the same time, you got Donald Trump. Fuck Donald Trump. Fuck Donald Trump. He got bigger and bigger and bigger. Then he became president. Do people not understand the ecosystem of how this works? The more you talk about it, you're giving them free fucking press. And then it becomes an ecosystem. There's the fuck Jake Paul ecosystem. There's the fuck Donald Trump ecosystem. These are two similar ecosystems that happen at the same time. People love to hate. And they realize that. Katie Hopkins has been making money for fucking decades of, because people love to hate her. Man, she's, she's, this is how it works. And you look at CNN right now. Now Donald Trump has got COVID-19. They're just talking about COVID-19 over and over again, just scenario-wise, and giving updates on it, because everyone's interested in COVID-19 again, as if, it, as if it went away, and it's like, well, now we're going to talk about it all. And they're talking about stuff that, well, this is how it spreads, and this is what it does, literally just regurgitating it again. Stuff that's from months ago that everyone knew anyway, although we have such a short attention span now that, like, well, I didn't know it did it like that. I just thought I was locked indoors for, I don't know, Bill Gates. People don't even know why they're locked indoors no more. 
but they're just saying the same stuff, talking about all this stuff that we already fucking know. But because Donald Trump's got COVID-19, well, we need, well, we've got more to talk about about Donald Trump that's new. It's as long as they talk about him, they know that people cannot stop. If he closes Twitter down, there will be so many people who would have fuck all to do with their lives because they've been used to for years now. All they do is just tweet at him and reply to his tweets going, fuck you, fuck you, as if he's reading them. You nut job. That's what you do. I'm being heard. You might as well go shout in the toilet. You, you know, you can go on the street and shout at pigeons with the other lunatics. Don't be hiding in your office with your facade, your veneer of going, <laughs> I'm a business bird. Hi, I'm head of, I'm Kathy, I'm head of HR. <laughs> you like the fur of my kids. Right, they're gone now. I'm just going to shout at Donald Trump for an hour. <laughs> That's who you are. Just give it up. Go in the park, smear yourself in shit, and shout at pigeons with the rest of the lunatics. You be you. Don't hide. I'm not hiding who I am. Don't who hide you are. You're a fucking lunatic. Own it. But this is the algorithm. So we're so split in half now that I don't know how, because the business model was built like that. If you're going to try and appease to everyone, it just doesn't work. Look what happens when people try to be balanced. It doesn't work. I look for anything where I maintain a balance and stuff, the like to dislike ratio. It is way off. If you don't go down the rabbit hole and you don't become just one way or the other and choose a side, it doesn't really work with the algorithm unless you're doing something else. But politically, it just doesn't work for it. It fucks it up. It's, it's a sad state of affairs, and this is how news agencies are. This is it. They pick the side, and they're sticking with it. Either Brexit or not Brexit, blah, 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 blah. But obviously, the majority of mainstream is very left-leaning. So it's skewed. That's the way it is. So there's no bridging. The, I don't know how you're going to bridge it together. It becomes like a Israel situation. Like if you if you put out any video about Israel, it's literally half and half likes and dislikes. It's so split down the middle. You know, <laughs> that's what it's become. So you could either be a, a video about Israel and be split down the middle, or you just go one way or the other. Fuck them, or I love them. No nuance because everything like everything's just become so simplified. People can't wrap their heads around complex things no more, do you know what I mean? Well, it has to be just this one thing that's the reason for everything. The secret cabals, 5G, it's always just one, whatever it is. Russia collusion, the patriarchy, all these conspiracies. It's one thing that we've got to latch on to, and once we get rid of that, it'll solve all our problems, like racism. It's so ridiculous when they're going, well, the only reason this is happening is because of racism. We're going to eradicate it. It's like, good luck. And where are the racists? And they just invent them. Well, he must be a racist. You know, it's like instead of complicated thinking, trying to come up with new solutions, the world is very complex. There are complex factors that, that go into everything. Your body is made up of a complicated... You know, it's a machine of different parts. You've got your heart, you've got your stomach, your intestines, your brain, nasal passages, lungs, nerves, tendons arteries, veins. It's complicated shit, man. But you just want to simplify it going, well, if I just slap myself in the face, my problems will go away. It don't work like that. And when politics and science and, and medicine, because politics has become so fucking simplified, the news is simplified, this is the reason why everything's bad. Brilliant. Well, good luck. It's like, immigration is good, immigration is bad. Do you know what? It's good and bad, you fucking donut. Clearly it's good and bad. You open the floodgates in, yeah, you get some hot bitches coming in from Jordan. But also, you get their nutty cousins who bugger animals. It's good and bad. That's the way it is. I don't know why I picked out Jordan like that. I apologise to the whole nation of Jordan. But, you know... Someone's got to get it. The simplicity of it all is, is just, it's, it's and, and because everyone's got a simplistic version of truth, 
But there's no meeting in the middle because they refuse to discuss nu nuance because they don't want to be proven wrong or they don't want to be looked, made to look stupid or it's just easier for them just to believe in this one thing. It's so easy. <sighs> this is easy. Failure's easy. I tell you that, failure's easy. Not doing something and just accepting defeat before you've even tried is fucking easy because there's no effort involved in fucking failure. Colossal failure, there is effort involved. But that means you actually had to have done something. But at least you tried. So what's it going to become? The UK, United States, it's going to be like North UK, South, you know, South UK, North America. Well, they've already got North America, so they have to call it Northern North America and Southern North America. Jesus Christ. This is where we're at. This cultural division is, is just... I don't know how you solve it. I really don't. I don't know what the fuck you can do. Like, people just hate each other for whatever reason. You'll believe something just because one tribe believes it. And now we're all left in the middle because we don't know where... We don't know who to believe. We don't know which newspaper to believe. We don't even know which scientist to believe right now. Because they're all either one way or the other. It's all convoluted. And the amount of times people go, they're lying, we're not lying, and yet they're all fucking lying. They'll just go on and on. They, the lies, the lies, the lies, the lies told by the Conservatives. The lies, the lies, the lies told by the Labour Party. The lies, the lies, the lies told by Republicans. The lies, the lies, the lies told by Democrats. They're all fucking telling lies. And yet even when they go, this is definitely a lie, and the other side is just completely double down and go, no, it's completely true. Even though it's a fucking lie. What are you supposed to do? Where is the room for Joe and Jane Average and the aliens... What are, we, what are we supposed to do? Can you lunatics just kill each other? Can you all just fight and just die so we can just be left alone and get on with it? You know? Pick the scraps and just go, thank God they've gone. Because at this rate, I'd say, you know, if the Civil War's going to come or whatever, shape or form, just let them destroy each other and sit back and relax. Sit back and chill and make money. Because what's the point? They gotta go. These people have done. They cannot connect, they cannot communicate. They, they, they're so mentally ill now that you just cannot get through to them. What do you do with people like that? You either incarcerate them or just let them destroy each other. I don't really see any other alternative. These people have ruined it for everybody. Because they flip flop about depending on what political, you know, depending on what their tribe is saying this week. Instead of listening to facts. Do you know what I mean? If I ejaculate up my own nose, it cures cancer. One week and the next week going, no, that gives you COVID. And they'll to go, well, oh, okay, I won't ejaculate up my nose anymore. As if they needed to be told that. This is what these people, these people have got. They've got to go. They've got to go. Just go. Please fuck off. All of you, fuck off. Just fuck off. All right? We're so confused. We just... You know, people are looking for these simplistic answers. But a simplified guide to more complex steps. So a simple step, so because there's many steps to be taken in order to sort some shit out. Just break it down. This is what you're told in marketing. You've got to, like, you've got to be able to explain something to, to everybody in a short space of time, saying, this is what you do, this is what it does, this is why it's good for you. Simplify talking their language because you can make very complex sounding things sound very simplified without fucking losing the message and without dumbing people down. It can be done. Is if you've got these intellectual twats out there who just use so many fucking big words and they don't even know what they mean and it's just to make demean people like, oh, the flip of the kill, blah, 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 blah. so you went for a shit this morning. These motherfuckers, they gotta go too. These, these, you know, these elitist douchebags. You know, the ones who took over media, these people who just say so many words and say so fucking little, all right, are no good for anybody. They're only good to talk to each other. So let them fuck off and talk to each other. Don't talk to us, please. We're done with you. And at the same time, you don't want it so dumbed down going, well, why is this going on going? It's because of the Jews. You, you don't want those motherfuckers neither. They got to go too. But you can break things down to a simple form saying, well, you do this first, then you do this. It's like, I'll give you a good analogy. It's like when you, 
when I was at music college, and you, the first time you get to like a massive SSL mixing desk, I remember seeing it, it was like a, it's a 60 channel desk, or was it 50? No, it's 30 channel desk, it's a big fucking thing. And you look at it, you're like going, oh my God, there's so much shit. Like, what the fuck do you do? And then the engineer, who's my tutor, who's, he was a great guy, he used to break things down very simply. He was very simplify things. You can simplify things really easy. And he's going, no, you just learn one strip. You learn one channel strip. What does this do? What does this do? What does this do? What does the fade do? What does this knob do? What does this button do? You learn that, and then you've learned the whole fucking desk. Do you know? Bit by bit, step by step. There are steps to be taken. You can give people a step plan. You don't need to simplify it, and you don't need to fucking dumb people down. You, people can be trusted. You just got to guide them. They just want some fucking guidance, and there's no guidance. There's, there's literally, everyone's just doing it because they want their tribe to win. There is no respect for humanity. There's no respect for Joe and Jane Average and the fucking aliens. So you've all got to fuck off, okay? All of you. You got to go. You can be blasted into outer space. I don't care. Either the spaceship comes and takes us away, or it's taking you away to the prison planet. Whichever one it is. But you've got to go. You're ruining everything. Politicizing everything. Turning everything into a fucking tribal thing. The bastardization of language. You know, splitting people left and right. Splitting families in half. It's ridiculous. What, what, because, oh, well, we need to make profits. You know what? Some industries should die. Hollywood's going to die. And good riddance, to be honest with you. Bye-bye. Mainstream news outlets, they're dying. Let them die too. You know? All these people who bang on about how important the arts are, when the arts has just become a complete propaganda machine, well, maybe you got to, that industry's got to die too. I'll leave you with this. I saw an interesting post, and they're going, imagine a world, no music, no this, no that, no that, blah, 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 no films, no theatre, all the things that make your life better, that's how important the arts are. They didn't mention books or people that can just make music. It's the music industry. You don't need the music industry. You can still make music, maybe just make music to bring joy to people again. Let's face it, most musicians are fucking assholes, and that's because of the idol worship. So if we took away that then people would just make cool music and everyone could just appreciate it. Do you know what I'm saying? And they never mention books because you know what? Films and television have fucking... They don't make the films that used to be made. You know? The, the, the ones that made you think outside the box. There's no Fellinis now. Do you know what I'm saying? All we got left with is fucking Michael Haneke and the Dardenne brothers. That's it. I don't think there's anyone else. Oh, and George S. The guy that made... Killing of a sacred deer and all that. There's not many of them. Because the mainstream film industry has become a simplistic good versus evil propaganda bullshit machine. Okay? Oh, we're just going to wag our finger at you. And spend hundreds of millions of dollars on it. And whilst they're celebrities, go, rah, 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 they can fuck off too. Because they don't mention books. We should just go back to reading books and making small films that people can enjoy. Yeah. Because let's face it. Everything's got micro niche anyway. So, broad stuff? <laughs> Piss off. We don't need half of this shit. The politicization of everything is, is a disgrace, and it's got to go. And that's why I say to anyone from a younger generation, is to reject it. When they come around and tell you, and I don't know who they are, maybe the DJ Khaled they, you know, the ones who were trying to get him. But when they come say to you, when your teachers come say to you, or your lecturers, or your parents, or your boss, or there's someone else that says, oh, you've got to, you know, politics, they're grooming you. I'm fed up with you've been groomed by all these weirdos, where it's fucking far-right groups, far-left groups, Antifa, Combat 18, and Britain First, whoever, feminist groups, weirdo shit. Don't get groomed by none of these people. Reject ideology, reject politics, just reject it. Because that's what's got to change. And I was like, no, we need a revolution in policy. No, just get rid of it. They don't... You've got a system where they just tell us what to do now. It's a, no, and they don't listen. They don't listen. I mean, they... The ones that do listen a bit are the ones that win elections. This is why Donald Trump won. This is why the Conservative Party won. 
they just understood what the people, what made the people tick and what they wanted. That's how you win. But do they give the people everything that they really want? And do they, or do they spend a lot of time just dictating to them what they think they need? Yes, of course, that's politics. They gotta go. It should serve one purpose, and that's to protect our shit. Protect our shit, make the roads okay, protect the money, that's it. Make stuff function, you're a manager. Go fucking manage, but don't be telling me what to fucking do, because you're the manager, and we're not the staff. With the fucking boardroom, bitch. Now go do your job, or you'll bloody lose it. That's where it's all fucked up. And I don't, you know, and we don't need to be split this way and split that way, where we cannot communicate. But like I said, Joan Dane Average and me, wow, we're through of it. If you get this weirdo shit out of my face, get this weirdo shit, you, or, or, you know, you just gotta stop going on social media and just stop reading newspapers. It's probably the best thing for it. it. It's ruining your brain anyway. It's junk food. It's junk food for the brain. You know what I mean, this is popping candy in your fucking brain. You just get rid of it. It's got to go. It's got to go. It has to. All right. Just reject it. That's what I say to everyone. Joe and Jane Average, the youngsters, the people who ain't fucked in the head yet. Reject it. Just say no. And just ignore it. Easier said than done, I know. But, you know what? If you keep yourself busy with something productive, Something good, reject it. And as for finding the information that you need, and what and the right medical information, the right scientific information, I'll look into it. I'll keep you posted. I'm sure there's an answer out there somewhere. I'm sure there's someone who isn't a complete fucking asshole who can just break it down and go, no, this is what you should do. Do you know? Somewhere out there, I'll find them. I promise. Anyway. If you like this kind of thing, or, you know, if you don't want to go down a rabbit hole with a, uh, it's just a one-sided view of everything, if you, if you like expanding your mind and actually thinking, thinking outside the box and not having a simplistic fucking view of the world, and I'd like to hear someone just chat shit for a bit about shit that has meaning, then like, subscribe, follow, go on my website. Share, but please just share. Just share this around. That's the best thing to do. That's all I want. I just want it shared around. Share it around like you're like an you're unpopular kid at school with a bag of cocaine. This is the bag of cocaine, you know? Or cigarettes, if you don't understand that. You, you know, you, you don't even smoke. Like, hey, have a cigarette. Be my friend. Share it around like that. Thank you very much. Peace.